You know, all of us in the tabletop RPG community, we are spoiled. We have all these different tools, the books are looking fantastic, all these different colored dice that, you know, we ain't using, we just kind of like them because they look cool. Well, I got another tool that I'm going to lay out for you today. It's called Hero Forge. It's the miniature token and portrait creator. And this thing is fantastic. I love this thing. I have been using this thing to death <laughs> since I came upon it. And I actually came upon this doing another video for Dungeon Alchemist. And that actually is where I was introduced to it. So I went over to the website and hey, lo and behold, what do you know? I'm thinking to myself, this will be something that's fantastic for my viewers. So those of you, this might be your first time coming to the channel. I want to welcome you to RPG Elite. This is a place where we put the RP back into RPG. And we do this by giving you tutorials and we do this by giving you real talk about the tabletop RPG space. And I'm always coming from a different perspective that kind of ruffles fe feathers and make people feel uncomfortable, but that's okay because we're all adult and we can handle it, right? Also, the thing that we do here is we give you tips and as I said, tools, which is what we're gonna focus on today. And all of this we do so that you can have a more immersive and enjoyable tabletop RPG experience. Now, if during this video you like what you see, then consider subscribing to the channel. And also, if you actually like the video and its content, then you know what you need to do. You need to crush that like button. But of course, don't do that until you've actually watched the video. <laughs> I normally don't do that in the beginning of a video because it really doesn't make much sense. It's like, oh yeah, and you know, click the like button. I'm like, click the like button, they haven't even seen the video. Let them see the video, then let them, you know, you can kind of encourage them to do that. But this time, I have a feeling you're gonna like this one. This is gonna be cool. And also, if you're going through this and you're like, man, I think I like this, there's a link in the description below, straight to Hero Forge to have you make your account and get going. So what we're going to do today and what we're going to cover is we're going to cover how to make an account. We're going to cover all the different aspects of an account. And then we're going to look at some of the different examples and what others have created already in Hero Forge. You're going to love this stuff, folks. You'll thank me later for making this video. So I'm going to see you on the other side, folks, and you guys can enjoy looking at Hero Forge, the miniature token and portrait creator. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do a search for Hero Forge in your browser of choice. And I've done it over here in, uh, what is it called now? Uh, Microsoft Edge. I never use this thing, but I'm only using it for this video. But well, right here you have uh, Hero Forge custom miniatures. And all you need to do is put in Hero Forge. I'm just gonna click on that and this is what'll show up. And what you're doing here is you're using an online tool. So that's important to understand, especially when we start getting into subscription modules and anything like that. So this is what you will pull up to in terms of the first screen it will go back and forth you know i'm um, some random character that's here it's normally either human male or human female so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our account but first you have to make one so you click up here in the login the green button and it's going to pull this up now you can either do it with facebook you can do it with google or you can just sign up with email uh, you can unclick this one if you don't want to receive emails and news and promotions and everything but you have to keep this one clicked because it's terms of service and cookie policy and all the rest of that stuff. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is go down here to at the bottom, click the sign up button, and you should be ready to go. It's a pretty easy and straightforward process. All right, so once your account is made, they will send you an email and it's gonna have an access code. We're gonna go and look at that right now when we go to our account. Now you can see that up here that you have a cart and you have your account. Let's go to your personal info. 
And right here is where you first we go down the list here. First is your personal info. It's self-explanatory. You have your email right here, password, first and last name, and your access key. Now, the access key is the thing that I just told you that they will send you in the email, and you're going to put that here. And then you're going to click save, and then you'll get access to the things that you want to get access to, even if you have a free account. Now, the community library, we're going to look at that in a second. Subscription, important. Let's talk about this in detail. Now, you will not see this right here because I have a pro plan, but I'm going to manage this plan, and this is actually what you will see. So let's take a look at the things that you will get with the pro plan and the hero forge pro plus download plan but instead of looking at it here let's go ahead and look at it over at the other page on your basic which is a free plan you get full color design tools so you can do everything to design your miniatures on the website new content every week You'll get screenshot exports, so you can take a screenshot of your character and export it out. And you'll have direct links to your designs. So if you want to show your designs off to people, you can. And that's it. That's all you get. With your pro plan, you can get the token maker for 2D and 3D top-down looks. And it's really cool. We're going to make a whole video just on that. And the token maker and making all the tokens, it's unlimited. Unlimited. You have your HD character portraits that you can have in the scene maker that comes with that. You'll get folders for your saved characters. Now, in the basic plan, you get a place to save your characters, but you can't make folders. Uh, they're just all over the place. So if you're doing multiple games with multiple miniatures or tokens, you can save them by game. Now, this is mostly probably going to be for uh, GMs, though there might be some players who are in multiple games and they, you know, have different poses for their tokens and everything and they want to give them to their GM or so forth. That's where having folders will come in handy. You have your saved custom paints. That's cool. Importing colors and paint sets from saves and outfits and poses. Those are cool as well. And then you have beta access to new contents and features. And you also get a pro badge base level, which I don't really care about. I don't know if too many people do. Now, when it comes to the pro plus download plan, you get a couple more extra things. Of course, you get everything that you get with the pro plan, but you get five free digital credits per month. Now, nothing's for free because you're actually paying for their five free digital credits with that subscription. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. It sounds good when it says free, but you don't have to pay anything extra on top of it. And then you have free monthly featured pre-made digital packs. We'll get into that in a second. Let's get down to brass tacks with the price. The most important thing that we have to realize here is that this $3.99 and $14.99 is 12 months paid up front. This is a subscription and you know you get the cheaper deal if you pay for things up front. So you have to pay $48 up front if you just want the pro plan or you have to pay, what is that, $170 for the $15 one up front. It's $4.99 for three months for the pro plan, $16.99 for three months for the pro plus download plan and 599 if you're just going from month to month for the pro plan and 1999 if you're going from month to month for the pro plus download plan is this worth it that's the question that you have to ask yourself for me i just got the one month plan just to check out the pro plan and so i can do a couple more videos for you guys but after I have messed with this, even at the six or the five ninety nine down here, which is what I got it for, for one month, it's unlimited tokens for that unlimited. So I have this at five ninety nine because I was just doing it for this video and for this series for one month. And if I made one token every month, let's say I made a top down token every month, it's 20 cents a token. It's 20 cents a token. 30 days we we'll just say it's 30 days so it's 20 cents a token if you made more than that then you can really get the most bang for your buck 
it is totally worth it. Even at the one month price, let alone if you're making tokens constantly for your campaigns. The three month one, if you're making a lot of tokens and you're doing it for games that don't have top down tokens or aren't popular or anything like that, and you have the time to make the tokens, then I'm telling you, it's worth it. It is very much well worth it. Now at this price point over here, it is equivalent to going into a store and getting a miniature. It actually is a little bit better on the pricing because this is a custom token. And when you go to the store, you're just kind of stuck with whatever you got. And that's it. And the pricing is comparable at the one month rate. Now, if you get it for the $14.99 rate, you're going to be saving some money. I'm telling you that right now. And they're all custom. And again, you get five every single month. Yes, you will be saving yourself some money. This is a good deal. All right. So let's keep going here. So we've gone through the subscription, which is probably going to be the longest part of this. Order history. I think that's self-explanatory, but you've bought. Address book is where you want all your things sent. Now, understand something. You don't have to have a 3D printer. Like you can design it here and you can have them send you the miniature. But at that point, you're going to be paying for shipping and handling. So keep that in mind. Best thing to do, obviously, is to create all of your miniatures at once and then do one big order. Gift cards are self-explanatory if you have one. Your digital credits, so the five free credits that you get for your files, this is the place where you're going to see them. Your digital downloads, well, it says STLS. It's STL, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And your 3D digital files will be here. Now, there are some samples down here at the bottom. And this one here is a 3D Unity file. And these two here that are a demo, the Paladin and the Explorer, they are STL files. And let me show you what they look like. I'm going to drag this over here. And this is what they look like here. So this is an STL file, and this is a 3D builder that just comes with Microsoft. So everybody has it if you want to just take a look at it and download it and mess with the actual file itself. And I was messing with it, doing some different colors you know, that which you can do like this, but you can actually see what it will look like. And they will show up here. And then the last thing that we have here is the Kickstarter rewards. Only if you got in on the Kickstarter, if you're just getting in on it now, you're just going to totally ignore this because it won't matter because the Kickstarter has been over. Let's go back to the creator and look at this community library. Now, remember when it says in Pro that you get access to beta features? Well, this is one of them. This is a beta feature that they have right now. I'm going to go back to the creator and we're going to take a look at the community one. So we're going to go down here and we've got two betas going on right now. We've got the hero of the community one. And let me show you that one real quick. So it's going to take me straight to the community one because I was looking at it earlier. And these are miniatures that others in the community have created. Some of these are looking pretty darn dope. Some of these are looking really, really cool. I like this Dwarven Sphere Skyrim. This one looks cool. Like that one. Um, this one just looks weird. Ben 10 Forearms. <laughs> All right. That looks weird, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I kind of like Cyber Claws right here. Kind of looks cool. Little kind of, kind of, sort of. I'm not sure. I'm not sure here. Um, Agarang Order of the Were Ape. Okay, that's different. <laughs> but as you can see, people are coming in with this and it's looking very, very creative here. You have all different types. There was one. Let me see if I could find it. And uh, so you can see that APR ice knife, as you can see, it looks like he's throwing a knife here. There was another one where it looked like he had air coming out of his hand, but I can't find it right. Oh, here it is. APR gust of wind, APR chain lightning. Very, very cool. And as you can see here, Oregon 2810. 
And this is what you can currently do with Hero Forge. So what do you think? I love this thing. I've been, like I said, I've been using it to death. But what do you think? You know, you like this kind of stuff? And if so, like I said, there's a link in the description below. Go ahead and click on that. And gets to getting, get creative, y'all. There's a whole bunch of different applications for this. I haven't even gone over that. Now, this is going to be a series. So this is one of like three videos for Hero Forge that I plan on doing because I want you guys to know how to set it up, what you guys are gonna get into, if you decide to get into it, how to use the tool, I'm gonna do some tutorials and things like that. But there's also gonna be one video that you have to be careful about with Hero Forge. It's the reading of the fine print of things. And I would be remiss if I did not include that video in the series. Now, for those of you who are looking at this, now's the time to subscribe, right? I come out with videos every Tuesday and Friday. If you like this kind of content, cause I'm coming out with all different kinds of tabletop RPG content all of the time. Now I know today ain't Tuesday and neither is it Friday. I get it. Sometimes I come out with extra videos like, oh, today, because this is just kind of one of those tools that I really wanted to get out there and for you guys to take a look at. Well, let's get moving with the question of the vid, which is two pronged today. It's the main question for those of you who actually use miniatures and tokens. And then there's a secondary questions for those of you who don't. And it's really simple. For those of you who do, why do you use miniatures and tokens? Why do you use those tools? And on the other side of the fence, why don't you? Why don't you add these elements to your campaign and sessions? Really want to see the different sides and the different arguments, but you got to give it down in the comments below. All right, folks, that will do it for me. I've got another video that I have to go make. So you know what that means for me? It means that I have to. Alexa, stage left. And hey, if you want to see more videos, there's a couple of videos right here. But until next time, folks, God willing, happy gaming and peace. 5,000 leets. A brother is out.